Welcome to Worcester College Virtual Open Day. Um, this area is called the Cloisters because of the little arches on the top. Um, and that is the chapel over there. And that would be the dining hall that would usually be open, but obviously because of COVID, we can't go in. Um, and this is the beautiful Worcester Quad. Again, there's quite a lot that is abnormal at the minute. We usually don't have scaffolding up, um, but that's to repair the roof. Um, so yeah, that's our quad. These are our sort of medieval cottages. We'll head down to Pump Quad and have a look there. Um, this area is called Pump Quad. It's where a lot of the first year rooms are. And down there is the cellar bar, which is obviously also closed. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little space for outdoor seating uh, when the bar gets a bit more full and whenever it's summer. You can just do some work on the picnic tables. Uh, we're coming out to Nuffield Lawn, um, which is absolutely gorgeous at this time of year. Um, and luckily it's the one spot of grass uh, that you're welcome to walk on. So we'll indulge in that and try not to get run over by the lawnmower. Um, <laughs> So this is, um, it's a really nice open green space, so usually in the summer term, you know, when people are here, um, you'll have sort of loads of students lying on the grass trying to do work. In the evenings we come down, maybe have a drink, uh, sometimes they put on a play on this lawn, which is always absolutely lovely. Um, and here's a little peek at some of the gardening. Uh, we have like award-winning gardeners at Worcester uh, who work really hard to keep it looking absolutely gorgeous. So we are just coming up to the lake um, because what university campus does not need a lake? Uh, can't really see it that well. Hold on. Nice. So this is just the bit running into the lake. And there we have the Provost Gardens, which is kind of like the headmaster uh, or headmistress of the college. And they have a lovely house with beautiful gardens. Um, so yeah, this is the lake. I don't know if you can see them floating towards us. Yeah, those are some ducks, which I'm sure will be somewhere on the Worcester website. Because uh, usually when we do open days in person, we all have little t-shirts on that have <laughs> little ducks on them. Because uh, Worcester has a lot of ducks and at the minute we have some swans and cygnets as well so it is basically spring watch um, got a nice little bench and this beautiful what I think is a willow um, it's one of one of the Instagram hotspots in Worcester. There are many, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, we just, ooh, this little, sorry, little bird just swam away. Um, so, Worcester, I think, has, is one of the few colleges that has its own playing fields, which we are just about to see. Um, yeah pretty vast expanse of space, green space. Um, we usually have sort of a croquet lawn set up in summer here. Um, you can go to the lodge and uh, pick up any equipment that you'd like to play either croquet. We've got tennis and basketball over there. Um, we have stuff for rugby, football, loads and loads of things. As a person who doesn't do sport, I'm finding it quite hard to list them all. Um, so yeah, and just behind us here is the uh, sports pavilion, which you can also uh, book out for events. Um, I, I'm sure that it's also got a sport-specific purpose, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then this really cool Black Mirror-esque building uh, ahead of us is called the Nazarene Shah. Um, it's got a big auditorium inside, uh, two or maybe three conference rooms inside as well, um, marked by the sort of the three windows on the outside here and the three windows on the outside there, um, and a really lovely dance studio. Um, 
and a foyer. And that can also be booked out by students at any time, uh, completely for free if you're from Worcester. Um, so we've had lovely stuff in there like um, like Christmas fair, like fate fairs things, um, panels uh, with Russell T Davies who wrote Doctor Who. We've had uh, race and class inequality panels, Arts Week panels, like where we talked to like uh, creatives who came to Oxford. Um, yeah, there's loads and loads of opportunities to sort of rent out those rooms for free and take advantage of what is actually a really great facility. Um, and I'm just going to come along here. So, we are coming up to... This building here is called G House. Um, that is a first year accommodation block with ensuite bathrooms and shared kitchens. That's Earl House, which is the same but for second year. And then here we have, uh, in this little building, we have the laundry room and the gym. Um, the gym is completely free to use if you're a Worcester student. Um, it has sort of the essential basic equipment, so strength training stuff, uh, a couple of treadmills, a cross trainer, and I think a pull-up bar of some form. Again, and not, not hot on my exercise, so <laughs> not sure. But yeah, so that is the entrance into the Shah. Again, obviously we can't go in at the minute because it's technically a shared space, so I'm unable to get in. And then this building uh, is called the Sainsbury Building. Um, and that is second and third year accommodation uh, known as grade <laughs> three. Yes, grade three. Um, which is, I think, the third cheapest or third most expensive, depending on how you want to see it. Um, I'll just show you a little peek from the balcony. So, yep, really nice view. Anyone is welcome to come up here and nab the deck chair <laughs> and come and chill out. It's really nice. It's just going to head through. I'll see you in a minute. So here we have on the left Staircase 24, which is a first year building, also grade six, which is the ensuite and shared kitchens. Um, really nice building, really nice rooms. Unfortunately, again, can't take you in there. Uh, and this is the Nash building, which is the same, but for second year. So it's uh, grade six, ensuite bathroom, shared kitchen. And now, very little more for me to do. I'm going to just take you through to the orchard, because again, every campus needs an orchard. Um, and then through to the Provost lawn to just have a look at how nice that is as well. Um, so this is our orchard, complete with sort of meadows of wildflowers at the minute, because in summer it's they allow it to go a little bit wild and unkempt in a lovely way. Uh, and then by the time we come back in autumn, it usually has everything sort of mowed uh, and there are apples and quinces and pears growing on the trees, which is such a delight. Um, and although we're not allowed to pick them off the trees ourselves, uh, any windfall apple is free game, as I have been told. Um, so yeah, just going to go through the orchard uh, to the Provost Garden, which is the place I pointed out before, which is kind of like... It's basically the university equivalent of a school principal, but just for our college. Um, and we are very lucky that Kate, our current provost, uh, decided to open that up for us to have a little explore and see how it is. So I'll see you there. So yeah, this is the provost lawn. And you'll see in a moment that it is sort of facing the back of the quad. So that those bushes there are the back of the quad. Um, and so this is the little treasure trove that is behind that. We have the provost's lodgings in that building, which is now, is no longer lodgings, has been turned into provost's office and some tutorial rooms and a multi-faith prayer room at the bottom, sort of between the stairs. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's a white door between the steps. That's the sort of prayer room. Um, and yeah, so this is the lawn. There'd usually be an event here in the summer term called, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, garden party. It's a garden party. There we go. Um, to which everyone is welcome to buy tickets. It's always really fun. Like we get a gazebo and some music. So hopefully by next year, 
or whenever you arrive, <laughs> that will that will be back in play. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to briefly show you guys the rose garden because that is also lovely. Um, and here it is. It's stunning. I realise my phone quality is not great. Um, but yeah, like I said, we are really, really lucky here and lucky that it's such a nice day. But yeah, so then that door there will take you back to the front of college. Um, thanks so much, guys. Hope this was at least partially uh, helpful or useful. But yeah, thanks so much. Good luck. Bye.